Barges are flowing again today along the Mississippi River. All traffic was shut down this week after a crack was discovered on the bridge linking Little Rock and Memphis. As CBS's Michael George reports, it's raising new concerns about the nation's infrastructure. The Hernando de Soto Bridge, part of Interstate 40 from Little Rock into Memphis, is still shut down to traffic. This week, Arkansas Department of Transportation inspectors saw a steel beam cracked all the way through, one that's crucial to the bridge's integrity. This main artery for exports along the Mississippi had river traffic stopped for three days. They're enormous pieces of the economy, and um, they're just critical for, for everyday life. Professor Rick Geddes is the founding director of the Cornell University program in infrastructure policy. So it's much more cost effective to do maintenance on the proper regular, regular schedule than it is to defer it because then you might have to tear out the whole road or tear out the whole bridge. Infrastructure is the foundation of our country. This bridge was built back in 1901 and is owned by New York City. The state highway department data classifies its status as poor. The White House has pushed a $2 trillion infrastructure plan to fix roads and bridges. President Biden signaled he may have to compromise after Republican senators told him this week they want an infrastructure bill spending just one third of that amount. They're sincere about it and so am I. And what we're going to try to do is figure out what we can uh, agree constitutes infrastructure. People don't need to uh, uh, be terrorized or nervous. When they cross a bridge, our infrastructure is safe. Uh, but I think you're going to see more of these, these maintenance problems cropping up where they just shut the facility down, it's imposing enormous costs on motorists and shipping companies. So when it comes to infrastructure, it'll be pay now or pay later. Michael George, CBS News, New York.